And finally, Rio Bravo, number five. Now this is one of the many, many, many brilliant uh, westerns that Howard Hawks has given us. And I picked this one, even though it's quite different from most of his, uh, I picked it because it's, to me, it's everything that a summer blockbuster isn't. It's about characters, character relationships, and it's not about the action, really. It's about the quiet moments, the in-between, and that's Really, ultimately, that's what I appreciate the most out of just my summer and out of my summer movies. And this one, for me, this movie is like if you had taken a formulaic Western that had all the typical action, romance, and all of that, and you'd taken all that out and put the in-between moments that are never shown on screen. And that's, to me, what this movie is really about. And it's kind of, it, it reminds me of Quentin Tarantino, actually. I can see Tarantino being very heavily influenced by Rio Bravo because he's very much in that same realm, that, that same style aesthetic. Uh, Tarantino likes to do the in-between. He's not into formulas. He likes to develop the characters. And he likes to have a lot of big movie stars and things like that. And I think that this movie is, of course, very, very similar. And the it's it's about people who just really have a lot of kind of panache and really are magnetic presences on screen. I mean, you've got John Wayne, of course, who is the king of westerns. Uh, Dean Martin is in this movie, and he's actually very good. I mean, he's playing a drunk. I know that's a real stretch for him. But, you know, I, I enjoy watching him so much on screen just because he is who he is, and that's so much of what makes this movie enjoyable, much like Magnificent Am or <laughs> sorry, Magnificent Seven. Um, and then you've also got um, Angie Dickinson in this movie, Walter Brennan, and even Ricky Nelson is in this movie. But, I mean, as I said before, this movie is entertaining for the in-between moments, and that's really what I like in my summer anyway. Uh, this movie allows these characters to kind of sit around, exchange stories, they get to play songs uh, on their guitars and things like that, and, you know, when I watch that kind of stuff, I feel very content and very happy and relaxed about my own life. Because honestly, when I look back on summers, I think about kind of like the 4th of July or the weekends where you're hanging out by the pool, drinking beer or margaritas, hanging with your friends, exchanging stories, listening to music, just like these guys do. And to me, that is what summer is all about. You know, when you get down to it, it's not about the giant epic really um, crazy action sequences and things like that. It's not about the, the cacophony, it's about um, pleasure more than anything else. And yeah, so I mean, I think that if that really strikes you as something you might enjoy, then you'll definitely like this movie. But that is uh, my list um, pretty much. I know, as I said, it was very different probably from most, but you know, it's just the kind of stuff that I'm really into watching right now. And if any of you guys have any movies you'd also like to recommend or mention, I'm sure I have missed plenty of them. So please comment below or you can follow me on Twitter. And yeah, so see you next time.